to uh, Beatrice, Deborah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the media, Bolivanaka, a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, first of all, let me say how, how nice it is to be back in the West. <laughs> and thank you all for, for, uh, for a warm and delightful welcome to all of us. And naturally, the Western hospitality to us is beyond comparison. Ladies and gentlemen, today marks a, an achievement for a dear friend, uh, Beatrice Nastin and, and her uh, Mesovu uh, Fiji company as we, as we unveil uh, Fiji's first goat's milk soap manufactured out of local organic ingredients. Uh, and this new product, uh, from what I understand, will create a pathway for niche uh, skincare rituals uh, and high-end mTOs in the spa industry, which these two are very uh, familiar with. I have known Beatrice uh, for a number of years and her passion for the development of the grassroots community is, uh, especially women, shows her outstanding leadership qualities in her domain. And today we're unveiling two years of, uh, of determination and tirelessness and most importantly commitment. Now after months of what I understand of, of heavy heartedness and we are within this closely connected community celebrating the success of a woman who is creating business opportunities for other women. And so I thank you, Beatrice, for being an, an accurate representation of an empowered woman and empowering other women. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, this is a time to look for new opportunities and opportunities that can fill some untapped markets and, and demands. And I'm thankful to, to Beatrice and her team for embarking upon this new venture. Now, this is the kind of creativity that we that we need and one of the positive sides of the COVID-19 pandemic is that we have found a whole lot of creativity that exists within Fiji amongst our, uh, our population. And I'm told that consumer preferences remain preferred towards natural and, and organic products and which is well timed for today's release of, of, of the new goat's milk product which will in the coming days retail in, in souvenir shops, I understand, and be without match in high-end resorts as an alternative to coconut soaps. And it's very timely too, because we're about to open on the 1st. And from what I understand also from Tourism Fiji, I uh, uh, had a visit with them this morning, that we have close to 100,000 people already booked to come to Fiji within, November, uh, within December and January. So all bodes well for, for Fiji, and I wish you well on your new endeavor. This is independently championed by, by Beatrice and it will employ two soap makers from what I understand in, in January next year. And we are supplied, I think the supply of goat's milk come from three farms locally and which will extend at a later stage to five farms uh, to ensure guaranteed supply of goat's milk and to meet the growing demands. You know, this is an area where you know, we haven't really tapped into and it's wonderful to see that somebody has and I wish you well on it. The goat's milk, from what I, what I understand, has been sourced. We'll engage local goat farmers um, and virgin coconut oil producers uh, as main suppliers, which will mean keeping Fijian communities at work and employed and given the opportunity to generate some income and, and uh, safeguard this important niche uh, resource. In the coming days, we look forward to, to welcoming the, the brand also to the Fijian Made campaign, uh, Fijian Made by Fijian campaign that we have to join others that have been given the Fijian branding to, in terms of exposure domestically and internationally. And through the campaign, the Ministry com continues to promote our products, Fijian products and services in the domestic and the international market. I can candidly say, ladies and gentlemen, that this campaign has reached new heights and we have positions our, positioned ourselves to compete in the global market. And Deborah, was, Deborah will testify to this uh, in terms of quality, in terms of standards, and international best practices. So Beatrice and the, and the team, we can't wait for a new product to be launched and, and uh, to be a part of the Fijian Made Family uh, campaign. This is an excellent time also for Fijian companies, ladies and gentlemen, to recover and to, to revive and to reawaken the commitment towards creating new products. And as I said earlier, we, you know, we've seen a, lot of, a whole lot of creativity around Fiji with different products. Just the other day, we had a meeting with somebody who started um, beef jerky and being produced locally and it's actually wonderful with all the different spices and one of them has has infused carver in it so you know the level of creativity is just boundless and it's it's great to see 
I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Beatrice and, and her team for having confidence in Fiji and our people. Thank you, Beatrice, and particularly with, in, in terms of your continued desire and your resourcefulness. I'm certain that this actually gives confidence to other Fijian entrepreneurs and businesses to persevere with their research and, and development and, and introduce in, uh, inventive and innovative products. You know? and of course, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, Deborah is a shining example of how innovative and, and inventive you can be uh, to all, uh, all women around Fiji, and just to, to, even to, to all Fijians. It's great to see that. And I uh, strongly encourage other businesses also to continue growing their businesses and maintain the Fijian brand recognition in something we're actually truly proud of. Uh, this is the time not only to produce more local, but it's also the time to buy more local. We as a government have been producing, we've been asking everybody to buy more local. We've got engaged locals in terms of our tourism uh, products, etc. with our Love Our Locals campaign. In terms of diversification, there's, a, there's such a huge reliance that we have on tourism. And this is another product that we can add to our tourism market. It's my pleasure again to launch uh, uh, Misovu's uh, new products today. And once again, congratulate Beatrice and the team uh, for a job well done. Thank you very much. Nawalib.